Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sexy Brutal eh? Last time I figured out how to get through the freaking next part of this, uh, survivability. Also, wow, it took my character a long time to get up there. Alright, um, so I figured out that there was a, uh, hidden passage here by getting the chandelier knocked out. Shot, knocked down, knocked out, knocked out, bleh. Wait, can I just start the day at certain points? Or I think this is just it showing me. Anyway, um, got to the hidden passage. Now we can actually go into where they kept dying at. Or at least we can try to find where they kept dying at, which is what I'm going to do. Come on. Ah! I don't know why, the game is a little bit, as it feels like it's on a delay at the moment. I'm going to go ahead, though, and grab the, uh, key over here. Just in case. I want to make sure, in case I find the, uh, next, the uh, next clock. Although, part of me feels like I should try to keep it where I am right now. But at the very least, I can go ahead and unlock this next uh, area first. Alright, well, he's on the move. I already know he goes to talk to... Oh, you son of a bitch. I'll try to hurry downstairs before I miss anything. Although we already semi know where he goes. Problem is, I need to find this area first and then I can move on. I think I'm gonna start all if I find a library area first, I'm gonna library clock first. I'm gonna do that first so we can at least figure out how they die. I need to figure that part out first. But I, I think that the uh, three statues are part of it. I think if anything it just delays their death by like a small amount or unlocks something that I need. But I don't think it's uh, the go-to fixer. Alright. Yep, they're gonna talk. Waiting room, waiting for what? Still no clock time lock. Where the hell? Oh, you're kidding me. There's another machine? No, there's a fourth one. Whoa, okay. This is, uh... Alright. I think I see what I have to do. So there's a fourth machine I gotta find. I missed one. But, hmm. I missed a freaking another machine. I'm trying to figure out where it was. It might be in here, if I'm being honest. There it is. Oh! Uh oh, uh oh. Take this. I'll just on this other side. Oh shit. Mm. I'm just gonna go over here. I have no idea where the, uh, Might as well grab this. Where is another... Wow, it's over there. I guess I must have not seen it. Is this heaven and hell? I thought this was the library still. 
Okay, and I go down one. At the very least, I want to restart in this area so I at least know what's around here. So let's see which one this is. I'm going to say it's this one, right? Really? This is heaven and hell. So where's the... So we still have to go back to the library, then. Okay, but where is everyone else? I'm one of the best since this is the machine right here. They're gonna show up here, right? I still haven't found them though, that's my problem. Oh no. Oh no, that's what's that's Willow killing herself. Oh, I still don't know where they're at. I would at least like to know where they are so I can try to figure out. He's still on his way. Lucas, I hope I very much hope all is well. I trusted you and worked for you to create a mansion that is beautiful, functional, and allows secrets to be kept. What secrets have you hidden from me, my boy? I hope you know what you are doing. Who is Lucas? Is he the guy in the golden mask? Aram, you're safe. Can't keep a good man down. Did, did you manage to change the statues? The symbols on this monument should match. I did like you said, no troubles. So you guys can't see? Is he, are they both blind? Ah, good, good. I know you are struggling to believe me, but this will work. Did you change all four statues? The bar, the library, the piano room here, and the entrance hall? Entrance hall? Must have missed that one. I don't think the statues have been set correctly. This is very much not ideal. Ah, it opened. I did like you asked. Can't believe it worked, though. What? What did you say this thing used to be before it turned into an elevator? It was part of the old furnace system. Excuse me? Furnace? What the hell are you doing climbing to a furnace, man? <laughs> it's been all disconnected, of course. Who's had me create a highly, entirely new and highly efficient heating system that work for the mansion? You're climbing into a furnace. Oh my god. Are you sure? It feels warm in here. It does? Oh no. Ugh. Oh man, he's still burning on the way down too. Well, I'm gonna grab your invitation in the meanwhile. Oh. Hmm. Oh shit. Alright, um. I guess we're just gonna have to reset the day. So, okay, so I need to find, um. There's this, there's the piece right here. The last one that I haven't, I, I missed. I need to find that one's arm, I guess. Which I'm willing to bet one of the stupid butlers fucking hit it. Is what I'm gonna bet it what it is. One of the fucking butlers hit it. We, I feel like we've done all we need to in the library for now, though. 
because I didn't see the uh, I didn't see the way to turn the thing. Unless I missed it, which I totally did, because it's right there. Good job, me. All right. That one guy. I yeah, see two of them. Okay. So I do have to activate all of them so they're on heart. Oh shit. Ah! Going through here. Change the symbol. I knew it. Two, break off the arm. Oh, you son of a bitch. Three, sentence the meadowers to a fiery death as they try trespassing. You are not coming this way. It's days like these, it's good to be alive. Oh shit. And a total bastard. You're totally heading in there. Can I look through? Yes, I can. I thought it was the other way around. I need to grab that and I need to immediately head over to the other areas. Where are they heading right now? Uh, okay. He's just now getting to. Oh, this is gonna be tight. Open this up. Yeah, this is gonna be a tight one. Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch, move! God, I'm tired. Oh, you fucking asshole. But the moment he comes in here, um, we go, the moment these two go into the, the main room here, I go in here, grab the arm, go back, come back out here, activate it as many times as I need to to get the heart, then I need to bolt it all the way to where our room is. And, yeah. It's, it's, it's I'm gonna be running this entire time. I mean, you don't really need to know that it sets the hearts, you just need to realize that it turns the green. Okay, once he goes through, Bolt it. Alright, we're on a timer now. We gotta, we gotta really work now. Now, like I said, we're on a timer now. Big timer. I mean, we've been on a timer this entire game, but you get my point. I'll hurry up. Oh boy. And thankfully time stops while we're doing this, so... That gunshot. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Oh, come on. Thank you. Alright. Move, 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 move. Where is he right now? He's having a drink. We got plenty of time. Oh, what the hell? I forgot that door's We should be fine, though. Yeah, he's still doing that. He's still drinking. Go 
through. Thank you. Oh, son of a gun. Made me waste time. Oh, I hope I'm not too late. No, I should have plenty of time, because he's just gonna... I just have to follow him through once uh, I get in there. Let's get this one. Come on. Stop doing this to me, RNG. Making me waste time. Thank you. Alright. Now I just have to catch up with him, make sure that last one's done. On the way I went through. Ooh, I just realized my time, my thing. I thought it regenerated after a while. It probably only does it once per day. So if that goes out, then I lose. Good to know. For some reason, I thought it was just whenever you enter a room with someone with a mask. Yep, you almost forgot this one. I would love it if you just hit a heart right now. I didn't think you would. Oh, do not restart. Oh, come off it. Mm. Oh, there we go. We got it. All right, that's done it. Statue symbols. I don't understand. This shouldn't be the correct combination. You think maybe the Marquis change them? It, it's possible, but if that were true, then the ones I was working towards... Well, it's too terrible to imagine what could have happened. I'm feeling better than I thought I would. Maybe I don't need this mask on right now. Yes, I'd rather feel weight has been lifted. Come in. Ah, Boone. Lafcadio. How are you, man? Did, did you did you do something with the elevator here? I had a most terrible feeling. Boone, would you mind terribly continuing our search for Lucas? I'm worried about him, but he is least likely to be offended when when the concern is coming from you. That boy loves you, Laffy. Looks up to you, you know. Even with all his crazy riches, he still has a soul needs saving. Plus, this old fool here owes me a drink. And some staff members an apology. This, there will be zero apologizing. The sass on that young man. I tell you, in my day... Okay, Boomer. Out of the frying pan. We have one more person to save. Thanos' mask is yours, Boone. Looks kind of the exact same as mine. Like, that one actually looks like it would fit. Thanos' Architect Insight. The genius architect Thanos Gurecki had an unparalleled knowledge of the sexy brutalit. Visiting certain areas in a mansion will trigger memories and reveal secrets. Unlock new entries and for sure by using a power when a prompt appears. He knows more about this place than any man, except perhaps for Reggie. That mask and Thanos' knowledge, so much will be revealed to you. Thanos' non-unit is, is your path forward, but you can also reveal so much about the mansion and the path you've already taken. You've opened a, a path downwards, Moon. I want to thank you. There is something so precious down there in the dark. Come to find me. 
Why does it feel like we're about to hit end game? I mean, we have solved all but one murder. Uh-oh. Oh, this is a clock? Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Basement. Oh boy. Wow, someone gets killed down here? Holy hell, man. A lot of rooms. It's only one person. Ay -ay -ay. Wait a minute. That can't be right. Because there was one person that was like near like the top. If you remember in the garden, someone fell down. So unless somehow they get rock ricocheted up there. That's why I feel like there's another set of murders I'm missing. Like, there's a set of murders I'm not being told about. I also did not get... Oh! I got this in between. The Southern Siren. Even throughout her extremely modest upbringing, Tequila Bell had a truly extraordinary voice. The Marquis had long admired her as a performer, and was staggered when he learned that she was the stepsister of Trinity Carrington. Since, when she, since she first arrived, Tequila has attended and sung at every masked ball. Her usual accompanist is the, oh my goodness, is the pianist Red Rockridge, which she and the Marquis would also practice together, sometimes long into the night. Although there was never any outward impropriety, these, ses those, these sessions were eventually called to a halt by the Marquis shortly after he met his wife. Hmm. Something I noticed, but I don't I don't know if that means anything. Oh boy. This is uh Alright. I mixed up a lot of these. Let's get started on this. The Moloch Egg. The Moloch Egg is one of the Marquis' most guilty pleasures. The egg itself was one of the three legendary treasures created for Russian nobility by the Ruins family, the greatest goldsmiths in living memory, of which Orm is a distant descendant. The reason the Marquis acquired it, however, was mainly because he knew that his old friend and security expert, Grayson Grayson, was obsessed with the egg and driven almost to madness with a longing to see it. The Marquis, fully capable of being a complete bastard when it amused him, delighted in dropping none too subtle hints to Grayson that it was hidden somewhere in a mansion. Switch Rooms The Marquis is a passionate supporter and enthusiast for the theater and the arts. Also, he is an enormous show-off and loves nothing more than excessive displays of wealth and passion. For the most recent stage production, featuring an enormous gilded cage, he arranged for thousands of volts of electricity to be routed into the theater as a token nod to some form of health and safety. To activate the electricity, two fail-safe switches must be flipped at the same time. It's conceivable that the mechanism could be tampered with, meaning that some process would be needed to turn the electricity off, but the chances of that happening are surely too small to worry about. Marquis Chamber Marquis had several offices that he used throughout the mansion, but his favorite was the room located close to the theater Brutal. He was always looking for new and interesting shows to host, building many bespoke stages along with his architect Thanos Karecki for one-off performances. In recent years, much of the original furniture from the room has been relocated, but there are still many important personal touches to the room and secrets known only to the Marquis or those very close to him. It was also believed that this room was where he kept some of the most famous and important personal artifacts and treasures. I didn't unlock any of the music rooms. The bar, we still have that. The casino, we already have that. Alright, Hungry Lock. When Willow Blue discovered that Marquise had successfully obtained an actual juju guppy, she was filled with dread. Far from the colorful superstition, these ancient demons will sometimes take the form of a tiny fish in order to get close to the people of influence, or those who have a lot to lose. Though she never speaks of it, but Willow, Willow is a true voodoo princess, blessed, or cursed, with the second sight. Knowing the danger of the guppy pose, Willow created a powerful lock to the secret chamber where the Marquis had hidden the fish so that no one could enter by accident. Lock will only open with the correctly prepared charm, which we already knew that. 
The secret chamber is home to one of the Marquis' darkest, well, secrets. Knowing his wife loved and missed the sea, he obtained the rarest fish of all, a juju guppy, from the deepest swamps of the Caribbean. These tiny, brightly colored creatures were believed to be house the soul of an ancient demon. Owning such a fish is entirely illegal, but for his wife, the Marquis was willing to break any rule. He created a beautiful, lush chamber, the heart of his mansion, for his wife could sit and watch the tiny guppy. Eleanor confessed that spending time in the chamber with the guppy made her feel greatly uneasy. She said it would whisper to her, and she would be, over, be overcome with sadness. So, the more I hear about the wife and how much the Marquis cares about her, I'm going to assume either... This is tough. I'm still kind of on the fence about it being that we're all in purgatory right now. So, hmm. So, assuming we are in purgatory, I'm going to assume the wife died in real life. And that maybe we killed everyone. No, but it's like that still doesn't make sense. Because why are we saving? I guess I, I mentioned. I think I mentioned that saving them is like helping them move on. Because like that's how they died or something, and like we ended up killing all of them. I don't know. The bell tower, the gigantic bell mounted in the heart of the mansion, is once used to mark significant events taking place throughout the day. It is made of bronze and gold alloy, which was crafted by Aura Maroons to produce a mellower sound than usual. Despite this, it can be heard clearly in every part of the mansion when it is rung, no matter how far away the listener. Aram was unsettled by the bell, however. As he said, the note ga it gave was far more haunting and sad than he expected, no matter how he shaped and reshaped it. Basement. The Great Gold Elevator. Reginald Sixpence was one of the closest to the Marquis of all the guests who visited the mansion. The Marquis recognized that within Sixpence was a true spark of genius, and he confided and colluded with him like no other. Sixpence alt knew about the basement and created a mechanical elevator using sections of gilded steel that Aram had created to his specifications. For many engineers, knowing that their greatest work would be hidden in the depths of abatement would be an insult, but Sixpence truly lived for the pure joy of the challenge, a trait that would perhaps would come to be misused. Ah, so when I unlock the, uh... I'm stupid, I don't know how I didn't notice that. So when I unlock the cards... Find this playing card to unlock this information, yeah. So I have to unlock this information by finding the card, so that gives me more reason to, to use it to find them. I'm going to end it here, however, everyone, since we just finished a murder and I'm a little short on time myself. But until then, everyone, I'll see you next time.